Hi Capricorn, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another You versus Them. Capricorn, let's see how you're feeling now, how the person connected to your energy is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And Capricorn, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind, take what works for you, leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Capricorn spirit. All right, newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies. If this is your reading Capricorn, you'll know which side you resonate best with. For me, for me, this is person A and this is person B. Bottom of my deck six of swords in reverse so things are still in troubled waters between the two of you capricorn it seems i do sense one person here uh, feels that uh, their person was emotionally manipulative or didn't open up their emotions or you know was uh, is just trying to keep them stuck in the connection but they have no intentions of you know moving things along to something more stable or long term they feel that person is very stubborn very egoistic always playing mind games with me they're trying to make me feel i'm not good enough but uh, person a says yeah but the truth of the matter is that uh, maybe they have other options or they want to keep me as a friend's friends or friend or a friends with benefits the maybe that's the truth about them <clears throat> and here I was thinking that they love me the other person I feel I don't know they are also fig they are also figuring out that things are not working between the two of you maybe things are stagnant and they feel more and more time is going by and the stagnancy is increasing they do want to make things right uh, Oh, I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to clarify these cards for you. But first, let me ask. Take a little help from the universe. Spirit, what's really going on in this connection? Why is Capricorn and that person feeling this way? Capricorn and that person. Capricorn and that person, Spirit. Okay. All right. So Capricorn, the first card here does say regret. Someone really feels remorse for the way they behaved. They kept delaying things, right? So somebody is very regretful about that. Second one, lessons. Uh, this was meant to maybe trigger the two, two of you to learn some important lessons or something. The third one says mind games. Somebody was is maybe still playing mind games. And I think person A has figured that out. They're playing mind games with me. They just they're pretending to pretending, or they are just wanting to have the control, or you know, uh, they just want their way or the highway or something like that. So somebody is playing mind games here. But inwardly, I think they have learned their lessons and they are in deep regret. So let's see where this is going to go. Then uh, Capricorn, let's start with your dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys can say something to each other. What that would be, and then we'll clarify the rest. Capricorn and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Capricorn and their person spirit. All right, let's take a few more from another deck. Capricorn and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? All right. And a few more from a third deck as well, Capricorn, and then we'll start the reading. Capricorn and their person spirit. Capricorn and their person. Capricorn and their person. All right, good to go. Let's start the reading. And uh, Capricorn, if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is omkarataro at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. So the first card here, I think, is from person A who says, losing hope in this connection. My answer will be, I do. I was taught that I had to earn love by pleasing people. 
Then I thought about how bad I hurt you. I literally cried. I really didn't think we were compatible at first. I see that we are now. I'm afraid to say the wrong thing. How do you know so much? I'm sending you messages through lyrics of songs. I'm really going through it. I'm lost without you. Everything will fall in place one day. I love the way you are. It was my fault to let you go. You are my last love. You are my last everything. I didn't mean to hurt you. All right, so these were some of your messages. If these were resonating with your storyline, let's start this reading, Capricorn. But um, first, we're going to take an angel blessing card, and this one is going to be for the viewer of the reading. So that could be you watching, could be your cross watcher. So a blessing, guidance, advice, or a message for the viewer of the reading spirit. And this card here says mother. Maybe somebody is really feeling lost and wanting your nurturing and kindness. And if this is you hurting viewer, uh, maybe reach out to somebody who can uh, give you that. Or maybe it's time that you started to nurture your own self. Sometimes we end up pleasing other people or doing too much for other people. Maybe it's time to take care of yourself. Treat yourself like your own special little baby and give yourself all that love and comfort. All right, so Spirit, tell me. Let's start the reading. I'm going to start with Person A's energy. And newcomers, please remember, these are not gender-based. I'm not guessing which side you're on. I could be dealing with two Capricorns on either side, right? If this is your reading, you'll immediately pick up which side you're on and who this person is in your life for you. Yes, it is a soul soulmate bond. Could be a love interest, could be an ex-spouse, could be your uh, boss, maybe a relative, a best friend, maybe a secret crush. So use your judgment there. <clears throat> I'm going to focus on you personally first. Once I'm done here, then later I'll move to the other side. So person A, king of cups, in your feelings, in your emotions. <laughs> yeah, person A says, they, they were blowing hot and cold with me, Omkara Taro, all the time. They finally never made that choice. They kept me as a choice, maybe. And uh, finally, I realized they were treating me like an option in their life. They were just blowing hot and cold with me just to keep me stuck around with them. But it was so confusing. It I just felt like, you know, they refused to make a decision, a choice. And, uh, yeah. So, basically, person A says they had no long-term, uh, you know, no nothing long-term on offer. I think initially, person A did connect to person B, thinking that this is a person who is, uh, you know, the person A probably respected person B or felt this is somebody of high honor. This is the kind of person, you know, who will do right by me or they'll uh, take responsibility for their actions. But uh, when they realized what the game was, I think it made person A pretty upset and angry. They were expecting something else and they discovered that that person was just pretending to be something that they were not. I think person A took a step back from the connection and realized that uh, maybe they, their person only wanted, wanted passion or they had some toxic behaviors or something. So I have a feeling person A is the one who's withdrawn now. Am I right person A? Why? Why, why did you withdraw? five of swords in reverse because the person A says they were playing mind games with me. They were making me feel as if I was not good enough for them. Like I was not the kind of partner they wanted or it was like they were trying to diminish my self-worth. Uh, they were just behaving very, very attention-seeking, not just from me but from other people. They were being selfish and self-centered. They never offered me any new beginning and made me feel like a fool by the end of it. Uh, person A seeing per the other person as uh, somebody who was a bit toxic, somebody who was you know, playing games or just being very stubborn and egoistic and prideful and pretending to be something that they were not. Emperor in reverse. Emperor in reverse. Yeah, I think person A is accepted 
or at least they've decided that this is over i need to now move on i need to not even look back anymore get onto my own little boat and move towards my own peace and stability and happiness for myself and nurture my own self and uh, you know follow my own dreams and wishes and passions and you know they could be they could be feeling very successful right now as well because their focus is right now on what makes them happy instead of worrying about you know uh, or the secrets that person B was keeping, the burden, the overwhelm. I think person A is done with all these 10 ones and saying, I'm not going to deal with trying to decipher the mystery of this person. In fact, I'm not even chasing them anymore. In fact, I'm feeling much better. I'm looking forward to my future. I'm feeling stable. I'm feeling good. All that I think was a happened because it was a catalyst for maybe person A's change to find their own self-worth because they felt the other person I think hurt them so I think person A didn't get any kind of stable offer from the other person and they've kind of now given up they're relying more on their own intuition healing themselves balancing their own life saying you know what I'm not going to allow anyone else to disable or dismantle my life or you know keep me as an option i have to be doing first justice to myself i have to take care of me so they could be heavily involved in you know focused on themselves right now all right so person a how do you see the connection now how do you see person b and how do you feel about this connection High Priestess in reverse. I think person A feels they know the truth now. What's the truth? Person A says, I, um, maybe it was my own expectation. Maybe I glorified them a little bit. I, I, I expected them to be the kind of person that I thought they would be or I wanted them to be. But then when I thought long and hard about it, I realized that there was nothing on offer. This was all a lie. They lied to me and I lied to myself. They were breadcrumbing me all along, maybe giving to more than one and, you know, making me feel like I was not good enough. So maybe the fault was somewhere in me as well for expecting too much from a person who was clearly showing that they just treated me like a friend or a friends with benefits. Or all they wanted was some passion. Uh, three of cups in reverse. Yeah, there was no commitment on offer. I think person A recognized that their person just broke their heart, made false promises, behaved like a trickster, made false promises and ended up breaking their heart. So I think person A is now giving up hope or they're losing hope that this can ever turn out to be a long-term commitment. So what action person A will finally take? I will open later, Capricorn. Let's go to the other side now, see how person B is feeling. So person B, you have the three of pentacles in reverse. Why? In your feelings and your emotions. They know why things are not working out. Yes, they did. They were exactly how person A sees them. Maybe they were a player or they just wanted passion and they wanted to have fun. But I think they want to stop that now. They don't want that anymore. In fact, they are putting a full stop to that. They're recognizing that it's because of that. Yeah, they're very stressed out. Very, very stressed out because they are recognizing the cause of this connection not working out. In fact, they're having sleepless nights, stress, tension. Why? Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Because now they feel they probably will never get a second chance. Whatever this person was doing, either they got caught Capricorn or now they realize that all the games they were playing, it, they kind of backfired on them. They, they are recognizing that the tower has hit. They feel that person A, instead of, you know, whatever games they were trying to play, of course, they were playing to win, right? But the opposite thing happened and person A emotionally detached and has walked away. Why do you feel that way, person B? Tell me. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. What's the Nine of Pentacles in reverse? They're very burdened, very overwhelmed because they know that they delayed um, doing the right thing. They, I think, always knew that this was a very special bond, a very special connection. 
now they're burdened they're overwhelmed that they didn't move towards person a or they blocked it because of some games they were playing and now things are come to a full stop page of pentacles in reverse page of pentacles in now they don't know what to do now they don't know what to do see this person has always known that person a is somebody who is uh, too good to be true maybe or somebody who is uh, incomparable somebody who's you know at least now they're figuring out that this person is not even chasing me uh, they are special they are different they are the kind of person who brings abundance and happiness into their life but uh, this person they never offered anything they never offered anything and now they feel the other person has given up even maybe gone silent on them so they are very burdened very overwhelmed because now they don't know what to do so tell me person b uh how do you see the connection now how do you see person a and how do you feel about this connection currently justice in reverse they feel it's over they are very disappointed they are very disappointed but i have a feeling somewhere they are still trying to figure out how do i make the wrongs right now what can i do now to make the whatever wrong i did make it right at least they are still holding on to that hope uh 7 of wands in reverse 7 of wands in reverse they feel the other person has given up and that's really really depressing person b just the thought that the other person has given up now they're trying to figure out if i you know i can work something out if we can work uh, work on something they want to come out of the cold they don't like you know being left out in the cold this person is trying to figure out now how they can unbreak person a's heart and at least bring back you know the happy times or have a reunion this person is really wishing hoping that this person a hasn't totally shut the door and that there is a possibility of having a chapter like go on with them they are probably feeling they're getting some bad karma they lost out on a soulmate bond they want to talk now they want to offer their heart Okay so they are seeing person A is very defensive no longer being that loving kind generous but holding back from them and that's kind of scaring person B so let's see what actions you guys will take then going to take another deck for this one capricorn and while i shuffle this deck now may i please request you remind you if you could just tap the thumbs up button for me please really helps the videos to circulate i've been told but also keeps me motivated Uh, to do more readings for you and newcomers repeating viewers do like share subscribe to the channel we welcome you in so person a let's start with you action from your end towards person b or otherwise seven of swords in reverse person a says i got them or this just backfired this whole connection went backwards om kara taro tell me about the seven of swords in reverse yeah person a feels betrayed they feel hurt they feel betrayed they feel ten swords were plunged into their back because of some lying cheating ghosting behavior of theirs person a is angry person a is angry they feel person b was a toxic uh, connection or a toxic partner or you know a karmic who came into their life person a is angry enough to say you know what i'm aiming for the new now i want a passionate brand new beginning i want i want a new beginning in every sphere of my life something which is stable and long term and is passionate and is you know going to go into the 10 of pentacles i'm not going to settle for anything else i want a good balanced connection so person a could be manifesting the new after accepting that this connection was probably built on sand there was no foundation here it's already crumbled person a feels that the that the other person just left them just left them you know stabbed and hurt and left them out in the cold but person a says you know what i'm bigger and better than that i've picked myself up and now i'm more focused on being the best version of myself for myself this heartbreak has only strengthened me has made made me value myself more okay so person b what about you action from your end towards person a or otherwise 
person be? Ten of swords in reverse. They are going through the dark night of the soul. Some way I think this person wants the past to be forgotten. Because I have a feeling they still have passion for person A and they do want to take action. So let's see. Ten of swords in reverse. What's the ten of swords in reverse for you as an action? This is almost like they want to pull out those swords which they plunged. Two of Wands, this person could be planning. They are spying on person A 24-7, maybe from the shadows. Uh, they are planning. They are planning maybe the right time to come back. Maybe giving person, person A time to heal because they feel if I go in too quickly, I'm going to get a refusal. But they are planning something really big. They want to return back and I think this person could be even coming back with a you know something long term or a commitment or something they are they have been watching they have been keeping an eye on person a they are a bit scared so they are maybe they are thinking that let me give them a little time maybe time will heal their broken heart um, but they are watching this person is regretting and they are watching and they definitely want tell me more tell me more person b tell me more Knight of Wands, Five of Cups. Right now they're just sitting in regret. They're just sitting in regret for maybe their player ways or the way they behaved. It's like they're really sad and regretful and ashamed and, you know, feeling, why did I behave like that? You know what, this person is actually just hoping that when they come and talk to person A, person A would just forget about the past and say, okay, let's start anew. They know that person A has strong boundaries right so they're hoping person he doesn't move on to anybody else and they're still single by the time they come back but uh, they want to give person a maybe a little time to settle down or heal that broken heart they caused uh, then they feel that once person is in a better mood or something maybe i can come back with an apology maybe i can come back with an apology and then slow and steady you know see if i can set down roots or you know invest in this connection so they are a little scared of creating some conflict if they rush back too quick am i right what's the six of swords in reverse six of swords in reverse yeah they want to work things out they do want to work on things whatever turbulence was created they want to fix that they want to work on this connection and they are manifesting. This person is manifesting um, a long-term partnership, long-term commitment. But the problem here is person A is also manifesting at the same time. They are also manifesting a four of ones, but they could be manifesting it and saying, universe, get me somebody new. Right? So I think person A, you have done the work and you have been... <laughs> I think the perfect partner, you're going to get a match sooner or later, one way or the other. Whether person B comes back or the universe is going to give you somebody else. I think person A, because they're focusing so much on their own self and their own abundance and they're uh, keeping an open heart, uh, person A may soon be in a commitment. Am I right, spirit? Yep, right now because they're focusing on themselves. The trick to getting a perfect partner in your life is make all your own dreams and wishes come true. Focus on yourself and then the universe sends somebody to hold your hand which is on your vibration. Okay, that was nice. So till next time then, love and light. Take care. Namaste.